What is up guys, it's JD here from Gamazin, and today we're going to be looking at this really cool piece of software called Rain Meter. In this episode, I'll be covering the basics of it, then we'll be taking a look at my favorite add-ons, or skins as they're known in Rain Meter, which I will do tutorials on in later episodes. So what is Rain Meter? Rain Meter is a desktop customization program for PC and Mac. Using it, you can launch programs, give information, and much more all on your desktop. For example, you can see your RAM and CPU usage on the home screen, or launch Steam games without a shortcut, and in a way that looks much nicer. The possibilities are practically endless. So how does it work? Basically, every setup is made up of skins that do various things. For example, one might be a visualizer, or control your music. These skins are coded in Lua, a special programming language that's made to be easy to learn and understand, but obviously, few people want to do a bunch of coding just to have a cool looking desktop. To avoid this, you can download skins from Rainmeter's fantastic communities on Reddit, DeviantArt, and beyond. Now, let's get into some of my favorite skins in order from the least difficult to use to most. Links to all of these will be down in the description below. First up is NXTOS. This skin is both very easy to set up and very powerful. It can be used to launch both apps and games, as well as give the time and be a visualizer. It is also a great starting point into Rain Meter, as it can be completely set up without editing a line of code. It does so much that you could, in fact, have this be the only skin you have and still have a very competent and nice looking setup. However, it isn't as customizable as many would like. For example, the visualizer can be changed very little, and it just plain doesn't fit with many wallpapers. This brings us nicely to our next skin, Fountain of Colors. This visualizer is very customizable, very pretty, and also requires no fiddling with the code. I recommend it very highly, even though it is very underrated. Next is Circuitous 2. This covers some more of the weaknesses of NXTOS by having fantastic CPU, RAM, weather, network, and battery monitors. The weather takes like 30 seconds of work to set up, but otherwise they all work automatically and look fantastic. But personally, I don't use the weather app in Circuitous. I use another weather skin called Do I Need a Jacket. It has you enter your location code, link to how to find that down below, and what you consider to be hot and cold. It takes that info and tells you whether or not you need a jacket. It's a very elegant and simple way of seeing the weather, and I absolutely love it. Finally is Honeycomb. This is a more complicated skin, requiring Photoshop work to get the most out of it, but it can have fantastic results. I'll be making a tutorial on it soon. It allows you to launch programs from these little customizable hexagons, which can be grouped together. It's become incredibly popular, to the point that for a while, it was used in pretty much every setup. So that's pretty much it. These are the basics of Rain Meter. All the links are down below. More videos on Rain Meter are incoming. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please leave a like, or even subscribe. Thanks for watching. JD out. Bye!